Sometimes he's a little predisposed at the moment. He's currently working toward graduation. I hope you're not too disappointed. Wait, what? No! You can't assault the headmaster! That's against school regulations! <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Oh, we don't have much time before he's back, so let's get this review started, shall we? <clears throat> Welcome to James Plays Games. I'm James, and I, uh, I play games. It's typically a terrible idea to buy a console for pretty much one game, right? Well, that's exactly what I did with the PlayStation Vita back in 2014 for Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. After watching the anime series, and thanks to a thin new partnership with NIS America, I was given the opportunity to play a review copy, and I absolutely loved it. Now, thanks to a relatively new partnership with Spike Chunsoft, we've been given the chance to play the recently released PC port of Trigger Happy Havoc. Does it live up to its quite successful PS Vita counterpart? Let's find out as we take a look at Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc is essentially a cross between Battle Royale and The Hunger Games because it takes place within an illustrious school for only the most talented students in Japan and you're one of many other students locked within the school, with your only way out being to successfully get away with murder. While at first everything is all hunky-dory, eventually the pressure gets too much for some of your classmates and people are killed faster than it takes for someone to say Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. You're forced to gather evidence at the various murder scenes and present your case of who done it in a class trial at the end of each chapter. If you get the culprit right, they get punished and you get to live another day. However, if you get it wrong, then the killer goes free while everyone else gets punished. Gameplay-wise, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc is about 40% first-person exploration, 40% visual novel, and 20% Phoenix Wright. In fact, that they haven't created a crossover between Danganronpa and Phoenix Wright is curious to me, but I digress. Starting off the game, you'll immediately notice that the majority of the story is portrayed through the visual novel lens, and in time you'll be allowed to explore the school and interact with various environments. Eventually, one of the cast is murdered and you'll have to explore the crime scene and figure out who was responsible by examining evidence and acquiring truth bullets, which you'll use to attack other characters' arguments in the class trial. One of the coolest details about the exploration segments is that as you walk, your figure bobs up and down as if you're actually walking. While this is an option that you can turn off, I think it adds a cool realism to the way you move about the school. Overall, I think I'm confident in suggesting that Danganronpa is one of my favorite gaming franchises and Trigger Happy Havoc is a solid title with a fantastic and emotionally driven story. I cannot recommend enough that everyone go pick up Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc at its regular price of $29.99 on Steam or on PlayStation Vita for $39.99. Thanks for watching James Plays Games! Did you agree with my review of Duncan Rumpa Trigger Happy Havoc? Let me know in the comments and while you're at it, tell me if there's a game that I haven't covered yet that I definitely should. I'd like to thank Kiva Walker who voiced Monokuma in this video for being a part of it. James Plays Games is part of the Pixelation Network. If you'd like to see more news, reviews, previews, and videos like this, check out www.pixelation.com. See you next time!